Today, I'm going through some of my oldest slimes and giving them a makeover. Hit subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so I went through a pile of my old slimes and chose out three that I thought looked the worst and had the best chance for me to be able to give them a makeover. Now, the first one that I chose was actually kind of an empty container almost, but there was still a little bit of this weird kind of gummy-like slime in it that I just put into a bowl. I'm not sure where this is from, but I decided to add some dye into it and then some fragrance oil because it smelled a little funky, along with some more glue because the slime was tiny. Now, the reason I'm melting it down and not just adding stuff into it directly is that firstly, the slime is small, but also I'm not actually really sure what type of texture this is and by adding glue it'll make the slime bigger and actually easier for me to fix if the glue was weird but as you can see it actually melted down very normally so I just went in with some activator and it pulled together really nicely now I do say it pulled together nicely it did take a while to mix and it was kind of stringy at first but I'm thinking it's because I mixed two types of glues together that it just needed to be kneaded with and it eventually came together the whole room actually smelled so good while I was doing this because the fragrance oil I added was a coconut one and I love the smell of coconut. It's so refreshing and it just fit the blue color of this slime really well for some reason. Now that the slime was fully binded together and somewhat of a smooth texture, I put it back into the bowl and added instant snow. Now, I know you guys get a little tired of me using instant snow, but it really is great to fix slime with because it can completely transform a texture and make it so much more of an interesting slime to play with. It always seems to smooth out any issues. For some reason, this did take a little longer to mix in than usual, but I think it was because the slime was a little bit stringy and the snow was just having a hard time at gripping into it and I kind of really had to push it into the slime. There were a few green beads left in it from the original texture but I kind of liked the way they looked in the slime so I kept them in there and it made the texture also pretty unique too. I have to say I was really impressed with how this turned out. It was light, fluffy and kind of like a perfect cloud slime. Now I say kind of like a perfect cloud slime because it did feel a little bit different but I did really like the texture of it anyway. I put it back into the container and this time it actually filled it up along with these little eye sprinkles because the fluffy blue kind of reminded me of like monster fur. I thought this lime charm would be cute along with these two little eyeballs and these fangs for the mouth which made it look like almost a monster lemonade and I was very happy with the result. Especially as it seems pretty fitting as the time of posting this Halloween is coming up. This one's definitely an improvement to what we had before and I really love this one so much because it smells so good and is like a really fluffy unique textured slime with these adorable monster add-ins. Halloween is also one of my favorite times of year so anything Halloween inspired definitely gets a big thumbs up for me. Okay, so this next one, I actually have a bowl out ready for it because I know that the slime is literally liquid. This one has been sitting around for like two, three years now and was originally a jelly cube slime. This one is actually very, very cute. It's called Beluga something. I can't really remember what it was called, but it came with this adorable Beluga charm and was filled with these jelly cubes. I haven't made a jelly cube slime in ages, so I'm going to do that soon. But the ones in here actually went hard because the lid of this was left open and unsealed properly. So I went ahead and removed all of those. It's always important to store slime properly because I was disappointed that these were literally like rubber bricks and I wanted to use them. But oh well, I added some glue anyway to the base because the slime was now considerably smaller and mixed that in. Now, I didn't want to keep it clear and I didn't want to be basic with it, so I decided I kind of wanted to give it a milky texture. To do this, you need to mix clear glue with a little bit of white glue and it gives it a milky, gummy type of texture and look to it. I really, really liked the blue, but I was feeling kind of like a purple lavender color, so I added a splash of pink and mixed that in. When I tell you this is the perfect color, it was insane. I love this shade of lavender and I was so happy with how it turned out. I wanted it to feel really soft and smooth. So I ended up going in with some lotion and mixing that in as well, along with some marshmallow fragrance oil, because I feel like marshmallow and this color just kind of go together. Once that was mixed in, I went in with some activator and stirred that together. And surprisingly, because of the lotion, it actually formed very, very quickly. I had to mix it a little bit with my spatula and then I went straight in with my hands and kneaded it together. Now, I was a little bit disappointed with the texture of this because it did come together pretty easily but it wasn't as thick as I'd like it to be and was a little bit too watery and runny for my liking. Even though it was really fun to play with and it looked really pretty, I just wasn't happy with it so I put it straight back into the bowl and found some soft clay to mix into it. Now I kind of marbled this in a little bit and didn't mix it fully because I loved the way that the white and the purple looked together and I knew it would look really good with the next idea that I had, which was to make a clay ice cream topper. I found some Daiso clay, unboxed it and then just 
got a little piece out, smushed it into a little ball and pushed it into an ice cream mold. This is so easy to do and it elevates the slime so much. And I made this ice cream topper scoop with the little beluga charm that we originally had. I placed it onto the slime and this looked perfect. The lavender color base, the white ice cream scoop, and the pink beluga charm with these sprinkles went together perfectly. I really, really love how this turned out, and it was so fun and satisfying to mix in. Not only the clay scoop, but also the two colors that were marbled together. It was so satisfying to combine all together. It also smelled really, really good, and I feel like the marshmallow fragrance is so fitting for this texture because it was so light, airy, and fluffy. Definitely happy with this one, and it seems like such an upgrade to what we had before. Okay, now we have the final slime that I picked out, which is this green cloud slime. I, again, have no idea where this came from, what it was from, but I knew that it was bad, rippy, and just not really a cloud slime anymore. And it just felt kind of gross and didn't look great either. I mean, the green color wasn't that bad. It was just the fact that the slime was just kind of chunky and falling apart. The first thing I wanted to do was melt this down. So instead of just adding glue, I added glue and water. Because this had instant snow in, I really wanted to make sure that it kind of absorbed more water and made more of an icy slime. I mean, I tried to start off with a spatula, but I ended up going in with my hands pretty much soon after because the slime was so tough, it literally wouldn't mix with the spatula. It really did take me a while to mix it even with my hands, but I really just had to keep squeezing it and going in there until it eventually came to this kind of paste. I added a splash of activator and then continued mixing with my hands and it kind of formed this chunk again. I don't know if I just added too much activator, which I can be guilty of sometimes, or if the glue was just really sensitive, but this just was not what I was looking for, so I had to switch things up. Originally, I wanted to turn this into an icy slime, but I decided it might be easier to fix it into a cloud cream so I mixed in some soft clay into it. This was pretty easy to mix in and did soften it up, but I had to go in with two different types for it to be the texture that I wanted because at first it just wasn't smooth enough. The Daiso clay really does make a difference and it made this so light and fluffy and almost looked exactly like ice cream and it just felt great. The one thing that I didn't love though after adding the clay is that it completely dulled the bright green color down. So of course I went in with some neon food dye to bring it back to life a little bit. To be honest, this didn't really change the color too dramatically, but it did make it a nice bright green and the texture and the color kind of reminded me of pistachio ice cream. I feel like if I had pistachio charms I so would have turned this into a pistachio themed slime but I didn't so I put it into the container, swirled it around so it looked like ice cream and found this adorable panda charm. The leaf on this just went so well with the slime and with the sprinkles it kind of went together perfectly. Now the only thing I wish I did with this was scent it differently because this had no fragrance at all and it looked so delicious but other than that I was very happy and impressed with how this turned out. It was so much softer, so much smoother, and just overall a nicer slime than what I had before. And I'm actually really happy I was able to bring that old slime back to life and not just throw it away. And it just shows that even if a slime is bad or as old, you can always bring it back to life. Almost always. Well, I had so much fun transforming these slimes. It was so fun to just open up some old ones, see what they were like, and completely transform them. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like this in the future, make sure to hit subscribe. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.